Welcome back guys. And in this video, we're going to continue and finish up working on the panels to make up the walls of the environment's interior. So let's get back into it. So first thing I want to do is just adjust some of these, uh, basically the thickness of this uh, column here on the wall. So what I'll do is select it, press tab to enter edit mode. And what I'll do is go to edge select, choose this one, hold shift, select the second, the bottom, do the same on the opposite side. Now I'll just go up to the top and select this one and this one. And if you press one on the number pad, we'll go to the front view, switch to the scale tool. We can just scale these on the X axis. Just make this a little bit wider. So about here, that looks good. And we're finished with this one for now. So what I want to do now is scoot these a little bit closer together. Just so it makes our life a little bit easier. I'm going to edit this one here. Remember we said this is going to be the divider. I want to use the scale tool, scale this in the X axis to somewhere about here. And press tab to enter edit mode. With edge select, select both of these side edges. Use the move tool. I want to press E to extrude. Right click to cancel any movement. And use the green arrow, which is the Y axis, and just pull it back to about here. Now we're done with this one, so we'll press tab to exit that. I want to duplicate this main wall by pressing shift D, right click, cancel the movement, use the move tool, slide it over. And with this, I want to duplicate this once more, shift D, right click, cancel the movement, and we'll just slide it over. And this will be the doorway and this will be the window wall. So the window wall is easier, so I'll just, with this selected, press tab into edit mode. And I want to go to face select. Select this face, press I for inset on the keyboard. And I'll make this a lot smaller to somewhere around here. Use the scale tool, shrink it from top to bottom, which is the Z axis. And then we can just use the move tool to move it up a bit. And it's also good to keep looking at your reference so you can see and on my reference, it's a lot, lot. It's about here. Now I'll select this edge here at the bottom. Move that down to about here. And this looks good. So what I'll now do is switch the face select. Select this interface here. Press E to extrude. And I want to bring it back some to somewhere about here. With that done, I can press delete or X, delete the face. Now I also want to delete this side because it's good to delete the sides you don't need and we'll delete the bottom as well, holding down shift and selecting these. Press X, delete. You always want to minimize your poly count as much as you can. So we're done with the window wall. Press tab and we'll select this doorway and this is going to be a tricky one, so just bear with me. We're going to press 1, go to front view, middle mouse to zoom in. We can hold shift and middle mouse, press to um, pan. What I want to do is basically select this, press tab to enter edit mode, and we need to create some edge loops. So first thing I want to do is press control R, and I'll select the sides, or which is the top and bottom, middle mouse scroll to create two cuts, left click to confirm, right click to cancel the movements. You want to press S to scale, X, X axis, and press 1.23, enter. 
we have our width done for the doorway. Now we need uh, one more cut to go horizontal. So we'll press Control R, select either of the side edges, left click, and then we can right click to cancel the movement. And I want to slide this up. So we'll press G twice. So G, G, and then we'll enter negative 0.4, enter. And then we have our border edge here. So we'll switch to the face select, double click any of these edges to select the entirety. And we'll deselect this one here by pressing shift and selecting it. And we'll just press delete or the X key, choose faces. And we'll just delete those. And we want to leave these like this and we'll just delete the side edges that we don't need. Holding down shift and we can select multiple. And once you're all set, we can hit X to delete the faces. That's done. So we have a tab. And we're actually done, but we can do one more bonus if we want. We can choose this divider, hit Shift D, duplicate. We'll just slide this over. And we'll scale this by using the scale tool. Scale this on the X axis to somewhere about here. Press tab to enter edit mode. And what I'll do is we still have these two sides. So just select this back edge here. We'll switch to edge mode. Select this back edge here. Hold down shift, select this one as well. Grab the green arrow and just slide it to about here. Slide it even further. Somewhere about here looks good. And then hit tab. We're actually done, guys. We have all our pieces done. We have a window area, a wall area for the doorway, a variant that extrudes outwards, a miniature version of the original, a corner, a divider, and this will be a ceiling panel, which will make more sense as we move forward. So um, without further ado, guys, we're done with this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one.